Welcome back to Space Weather News, your daily source for all things space weather related. If you enjoy our videos, please consider showing your support by subscribing to the channel. Over the last 24 hours, solar activity has remained at low levels. Mostly, we observed low-level C-class flares, except for a C9.7 flare from Region 3373. There was slight growth in Region 3373 and slight decay in Regions 3376 and 3377. Region 3379 displayed overall growth, while the other numbered regions remained stable. Notably, we are now anticipating the approach of a second coronal mass ejection CME, towards Earth's magnetic field. Expected to occur on July 21, this CME is classified as a minor G1-class geomagnetic storm. While yesterday's CME impact was weak and did not result in a geomagnetic storm, there is a possibility that it may have affected our magnetosphere, potentially making it more responsive to today's strike. Furthermore, the greater than 2 mega electron volts electron flux reached high levels, peaking at 1860 Fu at 2017-30 UTC. The greater than 10 mega electron volts proton event that began at 180115 UTC and peaked at 620 Fu, S2 slash moderate, at 180615 UTC has ended at 200610 UTC. Currently, Flux values remain slightly elevated but are below the S1, minor, level. Regarding the forecast, we expect the greater than 2 mega electron volts electron flux to continue at high levels from July 21st to July 23rd. Additionally, there is a decreasing chance of a greater than 10 mega electron volts proton event reaching S1, minor, levels as old region 3363 rotates further beyond the southwest limb. Regarding the solar wind, we experienced the arrival of the CME observed late on July 17, associated with the M5.7 flare from Region 3363. This arrival was observed at 21,620 UTC, leading to an increase in total field and solar wind speed. The solar wind speed fluctuated in the 400 to 450 km per second range through the rest of the period. For the forecast, solar wind parameters are expected to remain enhanced due to the influence of multiple CMEs on July 21st and 22nd. Additionally, the CME from July 18th associated with activity from Region 3376 is expected to arrive around midday on July 21st. There is also a possibility of weak coronal hole high-speed stream CHHSS, influences on July 22nd. In terms of geospace, the geomagnetic field was mostly quiet until 21,651 UTC when a geomagnetic sudden impulse was observed. Active periods were observed afterward. As a result of these solar events, we anticipate unsettled G1, minor, geomagnetic storming on July 21, likely due to the persistent CME activity from the CME of July 17 and a possible glancing blow from the CME of July 18. Unsettled active levels are expected on July 22, followed by quiet unsettled levels on July 23, possibly due to weak CHHSS effects. We will continue to monitor the situation closely and provide updates as needed. Subscribe to our channel, and prepare to be captivated by a wealth of updates, insightful analyses, and profound discoveries as we delve deeper into the mysteries of our dynamic universe. Remember to follow us on social media for the latest news and discoveries about space weather. To deepen your understanding of space weather phenomena, we invite you to explore our mini documentaries. Simply click on the on-screen videos to access these in-depth explorations. Thank you for watching.